Facebook just introduced a change to their widget. With their new widget, you can also talk to a Facebook Messenger chatbot without logging into Facebook. But this also has its drawbacks, because we don't have the user information like their first name and their last name. In this video, I will tell you how you can handle the new guest mode on your website widget. Let's dive in. So if you head over to the flow builder in ManyChat, I just created a new flow and we will change the first step to a condition. So we'll start with a condition and we will, oh, we will change the first step to the condition and we'll remove the send message. And what we'll do is that we will condition on whether someone is an existing contact. So we can just cl click on the condition and choose for existing contact. And when the existing contact is true, this means that someone is using their Facebook Messenger account and then we have the first name and the last name. But when the existing contact is false, so isn't true, then it means that someone is using the guest mode on your website chat and we must ask the name. So that's what we're going to do. So we will send a message and for this we will use the user input and we will say Hey, I am the chatbot of Chatamize. How may I call you? So we'll ask about their name. And I cre already created a custom field for this, which I call first name real. And that's what I call the, the first name that I use in all of my chatbot flows instead of the default first name attribute. So uh, that's done. And we will select it for other. So the content type will be other. And the other option is when the existing contact is true, so someone is using their first name or someone is using Facebook Messenger and we know their first name, then what we need to do is create an action. So we can click on this plus sign, add the action. And what it will do is that we are going to set a custom field and the custom field will be first name real, which will be set to first name. And I'm going to explain in a bit why I'm going to do this. And then after those two, we can use hey first name real. We'll add a nice icon. And then the rest of the flow. It's really depending uh, what you're going to do with your chatbot, but then you have the rest of the flow. And why are we going to use first name real? That's really because otherwise you need to use two complete different flows. So if we want to use first name as an attribute in every message, then we also need to have a separate flow which uses first name real. So instead of both using first name real and the default first name, we're going to set the default first name to first name real. And then in all of our chatbot flows, we're going to use first name real. So I will show how I did this with my own chatbot. So I will go with an incognito mode. And then if I go to chatomize.com and I click on continue as a guest, then it first will ask about my name. So it will say, hey, nice to meet you. What is your name? And then if I say Joran, then it will say, hey, Joran. And then it will continue the rest of the flow. So that's really how it's working. And the last question you need to ask yourself, okay, on which flows do I need to add this? And really on every flow that is accessible through your website, you need to do this. So for example, on a Facebook comments reply flow, you don't have to do this because every person that's coming to that flow is coming to replies on Facebook. So they have a Facebook account and are using it. But if you have a chatbot on your website, and a flow is accessible through that website chat widget, then you need to have this kind of setup where you condition on whether they're using a Facebook account. If they're using a Facebook account, set the right custom fields and use that custom field in the message and otherwise ask about their name and use that name in the rest of your flows. So that's how you handle website guest mode with ManyChat. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.